folks, Toby with the Memphis Flyer here. Uh, welcome to my home office. This is where I've worked most of the time for the last two years. I can't believe that it's been two years. I've been to the office occasionally, going in more and more these days, but uh, most of my work has been done right here. But that's not really how reporters are supposed to do it. You're supposed to be out and about, meeting new people, seeing new things, and bringing all that information back to you. I have been able to do a lot thanks to the magic of the internet here. So most of my time has been right here, watching the world go by digitally on my computer screen. But now we're seeing those COVID numbers drop and drop and drop. Things are getting looser and looser. And I think it's time for me to get back out there in the real world and have a look around. So I'm getting back out there. This will be an occasional series about life after COVID and how it is that we all get back to work, get back to friends, get back to bars, get back to restaurants, get back to life. Today I've crossed over the big river, across the floodplain, here to beautiful, picturesque, and bustling West Memphis, Arkansas, to visit the brand new Southland Casino Gaming Hotel and uh, Casino that they're building over here. As soon as you cross the bridge, you're gonna see it. Check it out. So that thing, this huge glass tower, is part of the new hotel. Uh, you can't miss it. This thing's about $250 million. Uh, earlier this week, I did a video about the brand new terminal out of Memphis International Airport. That was $245 million. So we're going to see who can spend a quarter of a billion dollars better, the airport or the casino. Let's have a look. You turn that corner, it's just a wow moment. It's just acres of gaming floor out here. Pretty crazy. So there will be the charred oak bourbon bar. See, it's a massive, massive casino floor. You know, it's Two and a half football fields. Uh, we're creating 400 additional new jobs, so we're in the midst of start recruiting right now. As Jeff said earlier, we plan on tentatively sometime beginning of April, but as we get closer, we'll come up with a harder date. So when developers are coming up with a project, they always come up with this. This is a rendering. I was going to show you what this thing is going to look like. It's always really slick and really pretty. So, man, that'll be the slickest part of West Memphis, I think. Uh, who is she? So, here is the racetrack. We came in about here. This is where the glass tower is, and we're standing somewhere around in here right now. It's been so long since I have been in, in a casino, I had no idea what the games looked like. This is what I'm used to. Huh? Right? The little rolly thing? It's pretty cool to see it open like that. But this is what casino games look like now. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. You know what I'm saying? Another thing I think is pretty interesting about these huge machines, this is the Buffalo Diamond machine that's supposed to be a big deal in the gambling world, but have a look at these seats. I guess it's built for two, comfortably for one, but uh, man, talk about uh, uh, gambling and luxuries. I'm very excited. You know, when I first walked in, I looked up in the ceiling, and I could squawk in Las Vegas. <laughs> so when you come out to a press event for some of the bigger companies or cities uh, you're gonna get one of these guys right here this is a press kit it's a folder this one says Natalie on it that's Natalie over there and it's got all the information that you're gonna need to know about what is happening here so right here on this casino floor let's run through some stats so right here on this floor they're saying it's bigger than two football fields you're gonna have 2400 slot machines that's a lot of slot machines 60 live table games Plus, the casino complex will also feature new and expanded dining options, including a larger buffet. You can sure as heck fit one of those in here. A steakhouse restaurant, a fry house, which they said is kind of like chicken and fries, if you can imagine that. A coffee shop, VIP player lounge, a new center, lobby and steakhouse bars, lots of stuff. And here they claim a gleaming blue glass high-rise hotel is being built on the site with 300 rooms, uh, 60 to 70 suites, and then 12 penthouse suites on the top floor, which is really, really exciting. Now, I haven't been over the bridge in a while. The first thing you see when you look west on the bridge, you're gonna see this huge, uh, big blue glass uh, tower over here. That's gonna be the new hotel. It's connected to this casino. We can't see it today. It's still under construction. But man, like I said before, it's not uh, gonna change the skyline of West Memphis. It is the skyline of West Memphis, and I'm excited to have a look inside sometime real soon. Fire alarm is going off and nobody's moving a muscle. Pretty interesting. Another quick uh, tip of the trade here. If you get easily confused like I do, you don't know where to go, just look at these guys. Boom. REG. Boom. Fox 13. That's how you know you're in the right place. Hey, thank you all for coming to work with me today. This is awesome. This has been a lot of fun out here. Uh, 
that's why I love the job. It's not the same thing all the time. You get to do all kinds of different stuff. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's hard, but a lot of times it's fun. And I had a whole lot of fun today. They said the casino was, hopefully they're gonna open it sometime around April. Uh, the hotel is gonna be open a little bit later, September, October, they think. Hey, this has been great getting back out there, folks. Uh, I know earlier I said after COVID, of course we're not done with COVID yet, but as things get looser and looser, I'm gonna keep getting back out there and I'm gonna take you along with me. All right, y'all, thanks so much, see ya.